Thank you. So we're going to just jump right into it. Lovely. Because I'm, uh, I'm tired. Me too. Yeah, I feel you, man. We well, all, we I'm all work today. I'm a little today. wired, actually. Are you? Yeah. I, I had a coffee, but coffee for me after like 8 p.m. just gives me uh, like a just, headache. No, yeah. I just have indigestion and yeah. shit. Well, I, I we pulling, were just watching my shirt. Aliens After Work, the movie, but I didn't finish it. The, that's the second here. one, right? Yeah, that's the second one. Said Ja so. James Cameron. He called he, at the beginning he's <laughs> Jamie like Jamie Cameron. He says mm -hmm. Jim Cameron, actually. Nice. It's like mm -hmm. Jim Cameron here. Oh, that's back when he was being cool. Oh, true. <laughs> breezy breezy Jim Cameron. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah, fun. I directed this movie. Yeah, no big deal. Jim, no Jimmy, Jim Cameron. Mm -hmm. We're just having fun. I like that we're gonna, we're gonna do no intro so people think they're listening to the wrong podcast. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. Oh, this this American Life again? <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, Don't worry no. about that. Got yeah. blinds falling. Oh. Why does uh, every? Uh, I feel like a lot of apartments out here every single have one. have that that shitty type of blinds. They're the worst blinds. Vertical blinds is that yeah. what they're called? They're so terrible. They're for like uh, if you're an old woman dying. I thought they were for if you were a recently divorced man. Yeah, well, I guess they're kind of diff. similar it's, aesthetic. It's on the way out. Yeah, yeah. it's like uh, dying for real or dying inside, <laughs> right. however you want to call it. <laughs> These are the blinds for you. Means to an end. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks uh, for coming down. Thanks for coming out to the valley, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Come fucking with North you. Hollywood. Boy, you know we are in the, the, what is it, the San Fernando Valley? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was in Burbank the other day for work. Nice. And it's Let's... funny because, like, your impression of, like, what the valley is because of, like, valley girls and stuff. You're yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's just, like, <laughs> women shopping, I guess. <laughs> Um, Burbank is like such an old man neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's like a weird old old. There's old school. like a diner every other block. Yeah, you no, know, it's crazy. The only person I ever met that is like a stereotypical Valley girl was a black girl. I deliver weed to this girl, mm -hmm. and she's like, like you know, like fully mm -hmm. valleyed out. That was recently, like though. extremely Dixie ditzy. Dash. Yeah, yeah, sort of thing. She just got just all disposable income. Mm -hmm pretty sure she doesn't have a job yeah I, I, isn't it too late for valley like valley girls was a 90s thing was, i didn't well, know they were still around that's now that's just all women <laughs> no i'm serious yes, to, oh, yes and, all, and and most men yeah everyone in america like i know time. like yeah. as i don't say it i've never said it once yeah i'm a liker yeah i say it all the I'm time. i'm lying like, but oh okay knows. i was trying to think i was racking my brain i was like maybe he's telling maybe he doesn't i don't know yeah no i totally say yeah it. yeah one time uh i was talking with my roommate and his friend and they were both like laughing or, or for whatever reason i didn't know why mm -hmm. and he had well, like one of them had been keeping track of how often i had said like Oh, that's and petty. They've gone hurts. inside and then came back. Yes, you know, but you know what? I don't know why the fuck I'm talking to either one of you, anyways. Yeah, you fuck, know. fuck your man's for trying to red pen a conversation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, what happened? you know, I, I've done. I ended up uh, that same guy. Uh, I got drunk one night and I, the door to my apartment was wide open, and I was like loudly telling my roommate how shitty of a comic I thought this guy was, <laughs> and he was like outside in the patio area. And Just like overheard everything, and you then, kicked ooh. your own door open. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I felt real bad about it. That's Aww. the worst feeling. because he was he he like wasn't great at com. Like his ego was so much bigger yeah. than you know for like who he was. His ego comedy. was a duh comedian level. Yeah, and it you know I don't know it was kind of I guess he didn't realize it. He had no humility about where he was at. So yeah, for which someone would have been acceptable to talk. It's just. You don't want to be like mean to someone yeah. like that. That's the worst. Because it's like every friend group, every friend group of comics, you have a friend who's like funny off stage, but he's just a really Can't shitty, really, yeah, just a really shitty comedian. And they're like never as funny. You know, they might be like the, one of the funniest guys in the friends group, but then they go on stage and do the same material they've been doing for like seven years. They're just not particularly good. Yeah, it's like almost like it's a mantra. Like they're not even a comedian. Like this is like a, a penance they have to do. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just, just like a, a thing that their social group yeah. does is comedy, and so they'll go up and do Dang. it. But, yeah. That yeah. probably is like with groups of friends who are bowlers too. I don't know. Oh, probably. You yeah. know, there's just any type of hobby. Somebody's just like just hanging around, but not very good at it. Yeah, but well, then it's always weird when the, like that guy is like. 
yeah, I'm, I'm like trying to get booked at the club or whatever. And you're like, yeah, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going. Like, you're you okay. suck at comedy. Oh. Like, I have to fucking tell you. Oh, man. I feel so f- bad for this guy. Yeah, just even the thought of telling somebody they suck at comedy, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like your worst nightmare is just that somebody steps to you like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That happened to me one time back in the yeah. day. I was. I actually, <gasps> I actually started thinking about a different guy while telling this story. <laughs> <laughs> a different guy who was like a better example of that. Mm. Um. Did you ever do L.A. Bar and Grill back in the day? Remember that one? L.A. Bar and Grill? This is some Arlington, Virginia shit, like mm. 20, 2010, I guess, 2011. But they used to do a competition. Oh, really? And this dude who uh, was my friend's barber came out to a couple of them. First mm. one I did, it did pretty good. Second one, I, I got two stoned, and it was like, okay. But the dude came up to me, and he was like, hey, whatever you did before this show, don't ever do that shit again. That was oh probably the closest God. I ever came to somebody telling me I was like but flat that's out trash. That's probably like damn. good advice. Yeah, What's no, that? he was right. Oh, I thought you said my name, but you said no, damn. I said damn. Oh yeah, because we never did introductions. The first time Irwin did my comedy. Name is Dana. Or maybe it was the <laughs> second time I was hosting the open mic and he was like, how do you think I did? <laughs> and I was like, do you want to be honest? And he was like, yeah, how did I do? I'm like, you're awful. I'm like, there's nothing that... <laughs> Like, it's not even like you're going to be able to figure this out at some point. I was like, you really just should not be doing stand-up at all. <laughs> and his response was like, okay. And, and he, no, he was like, <laughs> yeah, he was like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, all right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he probably thought you were being sarcastic it. and were being, you know, like what, you thought he was it's really like, good at it. That has to be a possible answer. Yeah. I don't know why anyone, th- like... Don't ever ask somebody, like, what do you fucking, how do you feel about what I did? This isn't like a, an HR job. It's like, like, it's a creative endeavor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's totally possible. To and it's voluntary. It. It's voluntary mm-hmm. as well. It's not like, it's not like you just made a bunch of spreadsheets and then said, like, are these all right? I'd be like, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. <laughs> I've got numbers. Right. It's highly competitive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Erwin, who's, who's that other cat out there in Maryland? Who used to run the whack ass shows? I can't think of his name. Not Shackelford. If there, if I'm the holy trinity of DMV whack bookers, mm-hmm. it's okay. Shofer. See, yeah. I feel. I even feel bad. David like, Shofer, man. Yeah. I remember one time I've he met him sucked, once. Dude. He sent me the most thirstiest, saddest email one time. Cause oh, no. okay, so y'all know I didn't have a car. Yeah. For a while and. He would hit me up like, hey, you want to do uh, Mechanicsville? You want to come out to <laughs> Percival? Oh my God. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'd love to, but uh, I don't drive. And so eventually I just stopped responding to the emails because he kept trying to get me to come two hours away from a metro stop. Yeah. yeah. And then one day he tweeted at me and was like, guess you don't want to perform then at like two in the morning, though. And I was just like, dog, I, did, I mean, I didn't respond to it, but I was like, what do, what do I, what do you mean? Yeah, send a car. Yeah. Send a driver yeah. if you really want. No, he sent me an email one time. He booked me for something, and then I just, like, didn't want to do it. And uh, so I sent him an email, like, the morning of the show. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm really fucking sorry, man, but I got a flat tire. I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. And he was like, um, you don't have a spare tire? <laughs> oh my and I was Damn, like, yeah, I do, but it's like you know, it's like the the, the tiny the replacement tire. So he was like, oh, you can drive up to sixty miles on those, <laughs> oh my and, God. you know. And I was like, you're asking me to go eighty? Yeah, I'm like, I'm not, com- no, I'm not doing the show. I don't know. <laughs> like, what do you, you want me to tell? Okay, no, I don't have a flat tire. <laughs> I, you suck. You, I don't want to do your fucking show. The one and only time I hollered at him in person, well, he hollered at me. We was at fucking Sidebar in Baltimore. And uh, this is when I had said uh, on my Facebook, it said I worked for MTV because I was trying to just just do one of those jokes, just blatantly yeah, lying. That's a fun joke. And the bit was that I was on Undressed. You remember that show? Um, MTV Undressed. It was like... Uh, naked Real World? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait. It was like naked. It was like a little no. naked soap opera. Yeah. They were naked? Well, you know, they was like... They, they were, were scantily clad. Yeah, yeah. Because they panties. now have a naked dating show. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. This yeah, one was... Naked and Afraid, right? Naked Dating. <laughs> oh. There is a show called Naked. There is. Same difference, the, This one is called Naked Dating. Yeah. So there's two... Anyway, we can talk about that later. The challenges on the, that show are like, you have to like look into each other's assholes and... <laughs> 
Uh, you're longingly. not far off. Yeah. They eat bugs and stuff. Like in which one? In Naked and Afraid? They've like given yeah. up on reality shows. Oh it's yeah, like, everyone's oh, just well, naked. two people have to fuck, but they're <laughs> nude. <laughs> and uh, we're bringing back bug eating. That seems to be big. Oh yeah. Yeah, they brought back fucking Fear Factor. They just need to make every reality show that they have now naked. Yeah. Do you remember That's what uh, they're going to do? They had Man vs. Uh, Wild. Yeah. The Bear Grylls show. Yeah. And then they had Survivor Man. And Survivor Man was, like, accurate, but a much more boring show. Because everyone would be like, okay, well, I gotta make a fire. And then it's, like, 45 minutes <laughs> of him, like... Wait, is that the real guy? Time? Yeah, like, they, they, well, no, they, would, they would have to edit it, but it was just, like, him doing Boy Scouts bullshit in the mm. woods, where, like, Bear Grylls is, like, drinking his piss on yeah, top of Mount Everest. He's dropping sheep mm. off mountains and yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing it up. Yeah, Y'all seen the up. one... There was one on, uh, like... I don't know if it's Oxygen or Wii TV, but it was like, I think it's called gay, The Box. Gay Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gay guy in the woods. Close enough. It's so like, like, oh the my box. God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, it was like, um, I think it's called The Box, and it's like two people fuck in a box. Oh, yeah. While a panel is like watching. That's right. And then they come out, and then they discuss the fucking with a panel. How is that real? I, no fucking idea, bro. I don't I even know if it's still on. This was like last no, season. No, it's I saw definitely it. not. Right? Can't be. That's there's no way. I also don't even really understand what's. I don't the understand interesting how you, part of that. How you sell a show like that? Yeah, and you and you can't even show the fucking. You, right. You, you just it's, assume it's like, people are fucked. To have the confidence of like walking into, you know, some whatever network that was, and you're like, yeah, it's two people fuck in a box, and then. Uh, <laughs> Then we talk about There's it afterwards. A panel. Yeah, it's a panel that talks about it. The, the panel holds hands. Because the panel can they can the panel see what's in the box? Because if they can't, then it's like what's in the box? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I hope so. What do you think was in that box? Is it in a like in, aside from fucking? No, in seven. Yeah. What oh, I don't seven? know. I it be seven. Oh. It's supposed to be the infant's head, right? Yeah, no, yeah. it's the lady's head. head. I've. Uh, what if it Wait. was just a couple of uh, smartphones? You know what I mean? Yeah. Something like that. Wait, okay. B- big surprise. I haven't seen Seven. Damn. I thought from pop culture, I thought that it was Gwyneth Paltrow's head. You don't know what's in the box? Oh, that'd be great. Imagine, it, if, someone, imagine everyone... if someone murdered Gwyneth Paltrow and cut her Wait, fucking dumb Wait, it's head not off. Gwyneth Paltrow's <laughs> head? That would be, that'd be a great movie. Is yeah. it? Do they not They don't show you. you. You just assume. Stop. They don't show you. The they don't show, they, yeah, they don't show you what's in the box. Yeah, yeah. He I thought... Out. Oh, what's in the box? I am shocked. Which I would fuck with a dude if he talked to me like that. Why are you? Why are you whimpering? Ugh, yeah. Come know. on, man. You're a it's goddamn terrible. detective. You're a Did senior detective. Did you guys detective. see those photos? Is Kevin Spacey, the bad Pitt guy in that movie. In yeah, the yeah. Thing? Man, he's such a good bad guy. He really is. He's got you a bad what, guy hairline. What makes him a good bad guy? He's like sort of ambiguously gay. That is. That you definitely you plays a factor. That whenever mm. he's talking to like one of the male characters, you're like, is he trying to fuck them? It doesn't. He's got like a. It's how you know he. Well, evil. And it seems yeah. like there's yeah. something. There's always something like under the surface that he's not telling you. Because mm. it's like he's just concocting murders in that closet. Yeah. Do you think it's weird for him that he keeps being cast as like evil guys? Um, he's not always evil. Oh, well, he's. Mm. I guess he's evil in K-Pax, right? Um, yeah, he thinks he's an be. alien, but he's just like a dude, guy that yeah. kills people, which is pretty evil. Yeah, does he kill people? I ain't even. I don't, I don't remember. I, don't know. I, don't I haven't seen, seen K-Pax yeah. actually. Yeah. I thought that he just had I've like an adorable put- Alzheimer's mm-hmm. sort of about this offshoot. gay Pax. Right? Ooh, <laughs> let's talk story. about it for a second. Yeah, uh, usual he's... suspects, and he plays Kaiser so gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't even see that coming. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and well, all the cl- all on. the clues of the whole time have just been hints that he's gay. What's his character's name on House of Cards? Frank Underwood. Oh, I was hoping it would be like Frank Frank, Under- Frank May guy. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, check this out, Frank Gay guy. <laughs> Still count it. I count yeah, it. Yeah, yeah it's you get right. three fantasy points. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, put that on the board. Mm-hmm. I got the rebound off being wrong, and then yeah. slam dunk. Frank Gay guy. Dennis <laughs> Rodman shit. Mm-hmm. Um, Did you guys see those pictures of Brad Pitt in GQ this week? No. No. He's like in a 
they're just really dumb. Maybe it's in, I don't know. He's in a bunch of national parks. He's in a lot of weird poses. He's pulling a shirt over his head for some reason. Mm. He's like having trouble, I think. He's struggling. His life's oh, sure in he's shambles. Yeah. Since his wife lost her breasts. Yeah. Yeah. He, Tough times. Yeah. Well, that's why he had to divorce her. That's I mean, what was in the box. A God bless him for going so long <laughs> in that relationship after there, it must have been literally a nightmare. I mean, that's the only yeah. reason to be with Angelina as, Jolie. Right, exactly. Sure. Otherwise, it's like, oh, what are you going to look at? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect face? I don't know. As soon as she comes home, you know, I, I'm sure I can't imagine him mentally preparing himself for... His breastless wife, <laughs> who's basically a man at that point. Yeah, yeah. she you probably know. always she, talks about fucking like her like brother her, all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. Well, yeah, she yeah. Looks like her fucking brother. I'm sure she's still into her brother. Yeah, it's Actually, not like we forgot all of the all of yeah. the pain in his I face. I did in forget, the movie Fury. and then I saw those photos again. <laughs> that's not acting. It's just, his it's character funny. in Fury is like a tank operator, but it's also a tank operator who's. Got a wife breastless callously wife. removed her breasts. It is despite weird him. that she. I don't know what movie you're talking about, but it is weird that she, Angelina Jolie like made out with her brother, and then we're all like, "All right," yeah. and we just SNL moved on. made fun of is it for like because, two months, and then that was it. Is that because she's so hot that everyone could just move on, or I is mean, it just like good well, PR I don't team, know bro? What, she do. had the PR team shut that down. Well, they did a great job. <laughs> in Austin, there was this uh, there was this girl Isla that would hang out, and there was this other this other weird dude, uh, Matt Kordelski, who was just like a, a guy that had been doing open mics for like twenty years in Austin. This like weirder older guy, and for whatever reason, he thought Isla and Jake Flores were brother and sister. So like one night they just started making out in front of him <laughs> <laughs> to like fuck with him, and he just like barely reacted. Oh, no. <laughs> he was just like, that. <gasps> like oh, all right. <laughs> well, you don't think he shit. was just like, Ugh. oh, maybe they're not brother and sister? No, he was probably secretly recording it on his fucking glasses oh. cam to beat off to later. For sure. Yeah. Well, let yeah. me ask you, who's weirder, uh, that dude or uh, Jack of all trades? Remember that guy? Uh, Bruce Campbell Jack of all trades was uh, he was a dude who used to come to the draft house and he would do just like one liners but he was like I mean I'm pretty sure it seemed like he escaped from a mental institution you know what I mean like he was always wearing like rubber gloves and he was very strange and he had like hospital socks like those like knee high like uh, circulation socks yeah, and he would come every week, and he would never I, get up. I never saw that guy. I don't know. Oh, who this yeah, is. that dude. That was a weird ass dude. Yeah. Mm. Do you, either of you remember Tom Flood? Oh no, I don't mm. remember Tom yeah. Flood. I probably I might have talked about him on the show already. Tom was like uh, this autistic guy that used to come to Wiseacres, but this was like before like autism is cool. We yeah, can yeah. all have autism. Pre you know? hip autism. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah. when I say like autistic guy, I meant that he like bagged groceries and lived with his parents and was like forty five years old and couldn't have a conversation you know like yeah, yeah. He, he, would, he would just like the first time he met you he'd be like w- uh what's your birthday and he would like get your birthday from you and then he would rattle off a list of celebrities and then anytime he saw you he would tell you your birthday and like the celebrities that would uh that you shared your birthday with Dang. and he would go on stage at wise acres and everyone would be like oh yeah tom's going up and they would pretend like they weren't just like gawking at a retarded guy Mm. And he would go on stage, and I, the only time, the only thing I really remember, as far as him performing, was uh, so one time he goes up, and he spends like his entire three three to five minutes just pulling tables out from like the audience and bringing them on stage and chairs, and he sets up like a desk, and then he puts chairs behind it, and he's like, oh, the um uh the the, the uh, September fifth, nineteen eighty seven, NBC four. Uh, afternoon news program you know and he's like news uh nbc4 news at four you know broadcast and he like names all the bra- uh, the like local anchors and where they <laughs> sat and by name and he's like sits down and he's like and and kelly thompson was here and oh, oh shit. Wait, no, hold on kelly thompson was here and he like sits down what? and then he just like does the broadcast Cast, from, from no bits not even no like a semblance of a bit yeah Dang. no he just does the broadcast well good from, for him you know what i'm saying yeah. fuck him you know, at well, least well, it's, mike at least it's doing his unique. own thing yeah. at least mike, it's an interesting mike thing diesel to do. mike diesel was like if you brought that on the road 
it would murder. <laughs> He's like, people would love this. And it's like, Mike, you don't know anything yeah, about it. Chill out, Mike. <laughs> just let him do this this yeah. one time, man. Yeah, if, you, if you brought this guy on the road, you're literally describing a freak show is what you're doing. You fucking oh, want to put him in a cage. Oh, have you, Dana, have you read Blood Meridian? No. Oh, man. There's a part in the story where there's just a guy that has a retarded guy and a nude retarded guy that he keeps in a cage <laughs> For sure. that they meet on the road and he's like, can I join your convoy? <laughs> <laughs> Let me hitch my wagon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a dude at Britney's who was kind of a similar thing. Every week he would go up and his only joke was an explanation of what a blumpkin is. Oh, oh my God. and it would culminate with him sitting on the top of a chair like his butt is on the back of a chair mm-hmm. and just him and we would all be like okay this is the week where he falls yeah and, and he never did and uh i remember one time he drew a picture of my uh my friend jeremy's girlfriend and it was like an anime version of her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so uncomfortable. Just tossed it to him on a napkin. It was pretty good. I was like, hell somebody yeah. else's girlfriend. Like yeah. the confidence level to like hit on somebody else's girlfriend to their face, but then the Actively, way, yeah. He the was way, there. The way you, know you do it is through anime. <laughs> so yeah. It's like more threatening, but also less threatening. Right. Draw a picture of your girl holding two swords. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Fuck it. This is a smaller version of what I have in my room. Mr. Steel Yo Girl with fucking Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> no, because not Dungeons and Dragons is like a hipstery thing. Yeah, yeah no, cool. they, they're trying to make it cool. No I've, one's like ironically into anime. It's like it's weird because... Have okay. you ever tried to watch it? Anime? Huh. It's terrible. No. Oh, just any anime? Yeah. No, I mean like even the popular ones. I remember when like... Um, was it uh, Princess uh, uh, Mononoke? Mononoke? Yeah, yeah when yeah. that came out. Either, was, the, whatever the first one was from, uh, what's his name? Mish- uh, Mishaki. Mar- the dude, the dude who draws the Miyazaki. cute ghosts. What's that? that fool. Miyazaki. 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 Oh, this is, I should know Mir- this. Miyazaki. Miyazaki, yeah. No, right? I remember I called myself trying to watch uh, Spirited Away. Didn't work. I it, it's so fucking boring. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. I but I could get down I haven't tried. Dragon Ball, I feel like I should, and I want to, because it's like, you know, now that I like work in animation mm. and stuff, it's like, you gotta, you have to watch it, and you... Yeah. I mean, I feel like I have to love it. No, the only thing it's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's it's beautiful right. but it don't really make no sense. Like even Akira doesn't make no fucking sense. It's just weird. Like oh, the yeah. nigga's brain we just have, explodes a, off. Oh, does it? Like I don't that's kind of like we the have the, all the books in my house. My boyfriend's brothers gave it to him, so we. Have, so I could read them. I'm not going to. What books? The Akira books. Oh well, that's manga. That's like a level below anime. Well, is anime? Anime's, animated anime's and animation manga manga's is the, the yeah, comics, comics. Comic, right yeah. but there's like an anime version of the books yeah it's the gayest them. thing possible to be into is japanese literature which is even <laughs> further down true oh i have i have read that just yeah. japanese sonnets mm-hmm. yeah it's pretty good you Dana. i've yeah. read some yeah. japanese hey, short stories and literature in like lapham's quarterly Ooh, lapham's quarterly yeah. look at you I have a subscription. No, you don't. Yeah. What? Yeah. Get out of okay. here talking shit about anime, and then you're like, oh, I subscribed to Lapham's Quarterly. Nick, yeah. classy as shit. Man. Yeah, he's got to check out four, your like four, like he's only into four tits, publications so a year. It's not. I a lot. know, but uh, that's being, the problem. Is having, being into being, anime, if you could be into, if if, if if being into anime meant you watched four animes a year, <laughs> it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> the problem with anime is that you watch it all day long, a and thousand. then you fuck a pillow with anime. On. Yeah. You don't do that with Lapham's Quarterly. Yeah. They don't. Well, send you I do, a pillow to fuck? But it's, they give but it's only every now and again. <laughs> I yeah. do. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like as long as it's quarterly, it's yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. Can't okay. be doing that every day. All right. I, that's fine. Well, I'm yeah. excited I to... I sent you that essay from, from Lapham's for the Teddy Roosevelt essay like a year and a half ago. Remember that? Vaguely. No. Just like about his wheelchair? Was he the one in the wheelchair? No, forget, no. I, I, no. It was like the, the Oh, yeah, the, bo- oh, the one. Yes, yes, that's the yeah, one by Teddy like, Roosevelt. Yeah, about Teddy like Roosevelt being essay. Big, strong about boy. Good, yeah, good boys are goodly good boys. <laughs> they're, good, they're good and strong, <laughs> strong and yeah. they they go into the, they get fresh air right. like good boys do. Yeah. Ugh. It's it's delightful. Good Teddy boys. Roosevelt. Uh, I don't know why that made me think of uh, 
the he was like, ice cream truck. He was so earnest. <laughs> he was like such like a uh, like an earnest guy with principles who like yeah. believed in you have to kill another man so you can <laughs> understand your own virtues. Mm-hmm. It's kill important. your enemy and pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah. Well, and it's nice that he was able to like like. The way that the national parks were built was that John Muir like took him out and like changed his mind about the wilderness. So that's like cool to me that John Muir was like, just come out and I'll you know I'll call you a big strong man for a week, mm-hmm. and then you know now we have national parks. Nice. So, I thought John Muir was the dude from uh, Suicidal Tendencies. Wait, that, is that Mike Muir? Whatever. I don't know. What I think it is. is. Yeah, yeah. I'll I take. I don't know. They John suck. Muir. Yeah. Who's who? Suicidal Tendencies? It's like an old is. metal band. Oh well, John Muir is a great guy. I, I never, I never understood the homie. appeal. That's like they're, they're like that music sounds awful. Oh metal. Yeah, looking back, no like, suicidal tendencies. Oh okay, I was ready to shit. I don't the even thing. know much. I just remember I uh, watch a bunch of videos of that dude because he always wore a bandana over his eyes. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. That's a cool look. Yeah, <laughs> the cholo look. Yeah, a white guy, fully <laughs> cholo, mm-hmm. like just blind. Also, Can't yeah, yeah. I feel like cholo. The whole cholo look is like. They were like, well, we got to look like something. <laughs> so we'll button our shirts weird, I guess. Yeah. Got to be uniform. Not know no reason. how to wear a bandana on our face. We'll be like, well, okay, we'll just <laughs> have what if our we shirts will be when too we drive, long. Yo? Yeah. Yeah, and then they drive everywhere. It's okay, but then they're like, but slowly, right? True. Mm-hmm. It would like Two miles an hour, sir. Very see slow, you. right. Because His holiness they, Will Smith told us that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm watching your cat. Yeah, I'm w- I want your cat to do something funny. I don't think I've ever recorded this podcast in an With apartment a live that animal? have a cat. Yeah, yeah. This oh, cat's Matt, weird we because it looks like a combination of both the Amber's cats. Oh, yeah. It's got Ernest's size and markings and mm-hmm. Phyllis's face and uh, texture. Is, she, is he is, cuddling? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Billy's all pets. You he's, know what I'm saying? He just loves fucking pets. He's and so shit. great. Were you telling that story about the bus driver? Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a funny story. I don't. I'm already laughing. I don't. I'm like, this is gonna be good, guys. Yeah. Nah, what time tell. I was? Uh, I was on a bus in D.C. I don't remember where the fuck I was going, but uh, there's these two black ladies talking to each other. So one of them's the driver, and the other lady is talking to the bus driver, and the bus driver was explaining trail mix to this other, <laughs> like she had never heard a trail mix. <laughs> Like the lady was like, "Hey, what, what you about to do tonight?" She's like, "Oh no, you know, I'll probably go home, watch my shows, and have some trail mix." She's like, "What is you talking about?" <laughs> She's like, "Oh, it's is like it this little snack it? with like yogurt clusters and little <laughs> dried fruits <laughs> in it." She explained every ingredient, bro. This was like Raisins, for ten stops. Different types of nuts. <laughs> Yeah, you know, a little Brazil well, nuts. Because if you hadn't it. heard of trail mix and someone told you they were going to watch TV and eat trail mix, you'd be like, that sounds wrong. Yeah. It's I, got trail in the name. <laughs> Somebody told me that you're not supposed to have more than two Brazil nuts a day because they're poisonous. Oh, shit. No, that's wrong. I've eaten more than they that. They got a bunch of vitamin A in them or something. Hey, hey that's your ass. Don't. I, heard, <laughs> I heard a story today. It's, uh, Barry Rothbart for, uh, in in... Wolf of Wall he was in Wolf of Wall Street. They had him in to like play some role on Wolf of Wall Street and they make you like snort fake like cocaine yeah, yeah. the role and they use like vitamin A or something. And uh apparently like they he snorted so much fake cocaine he had to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> And then they ended up like cutting probably him for better, most of the movie. Probably would have oh, been better shit. if it was real cocaine. Yeah, yeah. he would have been fine. Yeah, he would have had a blast. Too, you know what I mean? The waiver was too risky. Uh, that's too bad. Well, why does it have to be any? Why can't it be like an inert, I don't know, biodegradable thing that you snort? Yeah, what happens if you snort baby powder? Why does it have to be like a a, a, a fat soluble vitamin? I don't know. I'm just learning about this now. I know nothing about it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know if the the science hasn't caught up to uh, folks. (laughs) Cinematic cocaine use. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, I feel like the herbal cigarettes, too. Like, whenever I see someone smoking those on screen, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that can't be good for you either. I smoked one of them. How was it? As an extra one time. It was like pretty awful. Yeah, it seems like it would be more unpleasant to smoke well you're still inhaling smoke right so and you have to do it i mean because they have to take so many takes so you're just like 
smoking a fake cigarette for yeah, so a long. A pack of fake cigs. Yeah. I was thinking about Trail Mix the other day about, like, I was thinking about, like, the the guy at M&M's that was like, I'm going to get us in, in there. <laughs> I'm going to get <laughs> us in the Trail of, Mix. The M&M deal? Ahead of yeah, yeah. Smarties. Because now fucking, yeah, now every type of Trail Mix has M&M's in there. Mm-hmm. Industry because standard. Who the fuck is going to eat? raisins and fucking seeds and all that bullshit you, mm. it, you're mostly just biding your time until you can get, get to, to them yeah. that's for sure mm-hmm. totally i wonder if it was like uh ari from entourage like he was like following around the head of trail mix for three days <laughs> yeah you know so a mean? guy like that I'm sure. the scene. <laughs> yeah. i think it was the yellow eminem who did it <laughs> <laughs> which you know he we just found out. The I think he had to fuck Mr. Out. Peanut. He had to fuck one. The big dumbass fucking. <laughs> Remember they were trying to get us all to fuck the green one? Yeah. And the brown one. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. The brown yeah, one was like the explaining that one? she's not naked all the time. Because yeah. <laughs> oh the God. red one's like, I want to fucking jack off. And she's like, I'm not. I'm just black. I'm a black woman. I'm not, I'm not a nude Eminem. It's so much worse that they don't enjoy it. <laughs> it's like you made them sexy, but then you also gave them like sentience so that they know they don't want to be fucked by people yeah. or M and M's. True. Yeah, I never got the like the M M&M, and like the brown one is like the smart one too. Like she has glasses. There's a blue yeah. one that you don't hear about that often. Oh. I went to the M and M store in Times Square. Uh, well, I've they been there. Have every color. I've been there numerous times. Did they have the M and M's racing jacket? Uh, prob. I think so. The most coveted item in the hood <laughs> <laughs> in 1999. <laughs> that M and M's racing jacket. Yeah. The official, bro. Everybody wanted that shit, man. What car is? Who drives the M and M's car? Oh man, because this was back in the day. I don't know Ricky who it diabetes. was. Ricky Diabetes. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Have you ever seen? Uh, you ever seen Days of Thunder? Yeah, dude, that movie. The movie's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love the scene where, in like the beginning, where fucking Robert Duvall's like, "You gotta, you gotta take the turn, real smooth, you know, or whatever." <laughs> and fucking like he says some some like basic shit. It's like you're gonna let off the gas going into the turn, and when you come around, you're gonna, you're gonna. That's when you gun it. And he's like describing like the basic <laughs> physics of driving. <laughs> So like, if you turn the wheel to the right, yeah, the yeah, car yeah. goes to the right. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And then fucking uh, Tom Cruise is like, look, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what any of this means. I just drive. He's like, I'm just really good at driving. You put your key in the ignition and you turn it. Shut, Shut up. up. I don't understand those words. <laughs> yeah. Now that movie's stupid as shit. The, the ride was probably better. You remember the ride at King's Dominion? Uh, that was no. my shit when I was like six. Because you grew up right next to King's Dominion. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, you know, right next relative. It was like probably what, like 50 to an hour? Maybe oh, really? Because oh, really? it was over by Richmond. Yeah, King's it's Dominion. Are you thinking of Six Flags? No, I'm thinking of King's Dominion. Yeah, yeah. But six it's, Flags is in Laurel. Yeah, that's just where we Virginia. went, though. We, 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 we were like, fuck Maryland anyway. That was yeah. the move every summer. King's oh, Dominion. Oh, King's Dominion was, was a million much better. times yeah, better. That was like the fancy. So good. Because it wasn't one. Six Flags back then, it was Great Adventure. I thought it was part of Six Flags. No, it was Adventure World. Sorry. No, it became, but yeah. it became Six Flags. It became Six Flags, but, but back in the nineties, it was Adventure World, oh. and Cal Ripken was the official spokesperson. <laughs> you remember yeah. that? Oh shit! No. I forgot. Yeah. I'm just thinking about Six Flags and how like. Just kind of hood Six Flags is. Yeah. Like it's just always lined with like little weed bags. Yeah. And walk back to the parking lot. I, like I still flags. remember like when I went this one time and there was this, we, there were no lines because it was kind of raining and we rode Superman like, uh, I don't know, 10 times. And I still remember the mustache on the guy that worked there was like this thin Mu- like just one line of hairs above his lip. John Waters shit. Yes, yeah, John Waters. <laughs> <laughs> he was just taking a. I wish I could grow that. I don't know how to do that. I think, I think, I think it's you like, just cut it's, it. Yeah, it's a sh- it's a shaving thing. Yeah. Nah, it says the mind shit wouldn't do that. I hey too much testosterone. Off. Yeah. No, I, 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 in fact, don't it's just not that kind of like density. It's like uh, I don't. Th- I oh, see. his is not too dense. wispy. No, you know no, you don't need to wisp- worry about it being dense. Yeah, at least the one I'm thinking of. What this guy? Yeah, the guy that I'm remembering that you have never like seen. a John. I can't do. I can't do the John Waters thing. You wouldn't be able to see it on my. It's face. like I do his believe was like tried thinner too. than a John. Oh yeah, Waters. of course. Sure. I tried to do every kind of mustache. Yeah, yeah. Gave him it all the look. Like the best 
part of being a guy is just messing around with your facial hair. Dude, I, when I didn't, I didn't shave my face for like six months, and I grew a beard out, and it's awesome. You can just make your head like three times. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, those lizards <laughs> that have the ability to... Vagina. The lizards that can... Umbrella gills? Yeah, they can fight. Yeah, like, why wouldn't you just go around like that always if you were yeah. that lizard? Right, why would you reserve it for just scaring people? Right, yeah. exactly. Just be scary, mm -hmm. generally. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's a lesson we can learn there is that you don't always want to be scary, you know? No, I disagree. That's <laughs> Sometimes you got to save it so that... Nah, man, you gotta let it loose, man. Pull no punches. Yeah. All right. I think I only went to King's Dominion once. I went to Six Flags here, the Magic Mountain. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you nice. lost your wallet mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah, I think I told that story already. Oh, cool. I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know if I mentioned they had a they had a, a Tasmanian devil there that had like <laughs> makeup on. I saw the picture. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty good. Oh, the Transmanian devil. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, I remember one time uh, a, lo a lot of Looney Tunes shit was very trans. Oh yeah, Bugs yeah. Bunny. Bugs Bunny yeah, was like always constantly. trans. Yeah. yeah, we we got into a conversation on the podcast a couple weeks ago about which cartoon characters are black, and it's like we you know Sylvester certainly Sylvester the cat yeah but he has like a speech impediment. I, 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 you know which is I know it's not a race moms are smoking I, Newports I was, during fucking I was, pregnancy uh, Sylvester is retarded which I know is not a race but yeah. like yeah he's, you, it's, you get as far as cartoons right as you cartoons, either black or they retarded get, they get an You're identity both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they get an identity you be. only get one yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> like Tweety Bird obviously a Latina mm -hmm. you know okay for sure um, but you know, it started with Go Goofy is black yeah, but we were having a conversation about which cartoon characters are black, and then it became like a thing on Vice, like last month. So, Dang. wait, what do you mean became a thing? Like they wrote there's an a bunch of articles about it. What? Yeah, I could see Everyone. Vice jocking you guys. They did. Vice is definitely listening. They fucking Vice, if you listening, shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, it's because Brandon was going around the office. <laughs> just running He's around like, guys, it. I just came up with this. Goofy is black. <laughs> we're like, that's brilliant, Brandon. Put somebody on this now. <laughs> they gave him ten Start racks doing research. Yeah, yeah. for that one. Here's a fellowship. Yeah. Bit. Why did I mention that? Um, I don't know. The yeah. cartoon character. Yeah. You remember the hood? The the Looney Tune the T-shirts. Yeah, oh, it was yeah, like yeah. Looney Tunes and like baggy oh, yeah. jeans yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the big the big airbrushed uh, good... Looney Tunes t shirt. That's why Those I said Sylvester great. was black because yeah. he was the coolest looking one. Yeah, remember the Sylvester hoodie that zipped all the way up. Oh, shit, like through the face? Through the face, and then it had Sylvester's face on it. That was like a thing people would wear. Oh, shit, I don't remember that. I just remember that 12 style. 12 years ago. Yeah. yeah. At Up Against the Wall? Yeah. That store? Um, so that, well, there was a... I worked in Lake Forest Mall, and there was like a bunch of like airbrush t-shirt shops. There was like this Korean-owned place that just sold like... They have like every snapback ever. Oh, yes. And then they sold mixtapes... And then big ass, like, you know, like Stewie Griffin, like, as the Scarface cover. Yeah. <laughs> He's got, like, a gun, and then it's just a Great. quote in Spanish. <laughs> you know, like, I'm just, I'm like, no idea what's going on in this t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had a bunch yeah. of shit like that back in the day. Uh, that, it was a store. Well, see, so there was the black version of that store that was called M&G's, mm -hmm. and then there was the white version that was called Fads, mm -hmm. and that was in the mall. Yeah. And they had the same shit in like the little toys, like Wait, the raccoon. Wait, what's the difference between the black and the white version? Well, okay, so the black version is like all the snapbacks, uh, five pack of tall tees, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Uh, Scarface, Dewey Griffin. Sure. The white one is like, you can make your own t-shirts, but it's like corny ass sayings about golf yeah. and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah. oh, my woman better not be on the course. You know what I yeah. mean? One of them joints. You know what I mean? Just like pure misogyny. Yeah, yeah. One of the, yeah, just like racks and racks mm -hmm. of different misogyny shit you could put on tees. Lake right. Forest is like probably the most bizarre fucking mall what town in is the that? country. It's in Gaithersburg. Okay. It's like Montgomery Village. Is that when you were uh, selling uh, Nextels? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, As a man. teenager, I just worked in that mall. <laughs> I worked at... I worked at the Orange Julius for a while in the mall, and then I worked at, uh, 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 yeah, two different cell phone kiosk places. I'm sort of mad I never but, worked at a mall, just because like, I know I want to understand mall dynamics. Yeah, and I feel like I don't. Well, that the, that was it was still kind of like a functional mall ten years ago. 
Right. Yeah. But the last time I was there, probably like four years ago. It's just a JC Penny now. Uh, imagine. no, it's, it's weird. It's all those, I mean, there's a lot of shit that's like clothes. They're just empty stalls, but it's like closing, clothing stuff. And then like Indian got like real cool looking Indian guys that sell like cell phone accessories and sneakers. And then like, uh, a couple of stores that are like ancient Chinese art. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Chinese guys selling like weird Chinese furniture, which all malls always had, but like those store though, even back in the heyday of malls, like in the mid nineties, when they had like the pen and sword stores, it was yeah. like, who's buying this Chinese bullshit? <laughs> and they all have that, yeah. like a like a concubine's bed. Remember the they would have that in no. malls. What's a concubine's oh, yeah. bed? It was like a weird wooden bed. Like I don't, there, there was no business that would come through there. They would right. all, I mean, I guess people would like buy. Maybe like decorative like tea little, sets and shit. Yeah. And this yeah, is different like this from the framing ca- store. Is that the like the ones yeah. where they have like the cats that's arms go up and yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, that kind that of stuff. Like sit out front. But then they would have like one thing. It would be like a whole. It would be like a bed, like a wooden platform bed. Yeah. With like a pagoda around it, huh. and it would be like uh, this is nine thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just but I don't it's understand how most. Yeah. I don't understand how most stores stay in business. Frankly, like even fancy places where it's like. That, you know they're in a nice part of town and you're like you, no one goes in them you have to sell you know they have like four shirts that are two hundred dollars but that still doesn't seem like it just never seems like the math would work mm. like how do they i don't know how do they do it yeah i don't know there was a, a spencer's gifts near like the nyu campus until like a year ago <laughs> that i would see and it's like i don't understand who right. the fuck is going to spencer's gifts and how are they like affording like Manhattan rent. <laughs> right. And then they finally went out of business and I was like, that makes sense. Yes. Somebody up there won a titty mug? Yeah. One guy? I guess like if you're, I don't know, you're visiting your kids and you forget a gift and you're like, oh, I know, I'll get them this shirt with a fairy on it. Yeah, respect to the bros, man. Yeah. For sure. That's how you do it. The bros, man. Yep, old Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, have you been to the one, I think I I mentioned it before, but have you been to the one in New Orleans? No, I've never been to New you? Orleans. I Actually, know. I just want to, this has been distracting me this whole time. Go for it. But the Louisiana on that map is crazy. Oh, what is yeah. going on with it? It's just like a, a shrimp tail. Yeah, there's like some weird, like, appendage coming out of it. It's very bizarre. Yeah. This map was drawn by children. Oh, okay. I oh. mean, I assume. Yeah, I would hope so. Yeah, waves don't an, break like that. I hope an adult didn't draw this map. Are we going to nuke North Korea? I, I don't mean, know. May, maybe. It's it's weird I think that it sort of not, seems like it, I think it would be it? pretty funny if that happened. It would be hilarious. It'd be, I mean, like, imagine yeah. we, like, if Donald Trump yeah. d- dropped a nuclear fucking yeah. bomb. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on <laughs> half just, a country. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is half a country. Yeah. Half yeah. an island. And then, uh, you know, he would just be like, okay. Well, that's it. Yeah. And then, they would, you know. I did it with Doug. It probably wouldn't yeah. escalate. Be, like, that would be the end of it. Because it'd be, because it's so fucking small. Where yeah. would they go? There'd be nobody. <laughs> well, they would retaliate yeah. against South Korea, I guess. Yeah, but. that's, that's <laughs> what that's would happen. That's the thing, like, People Donald Trump doesn't give it. a shit about that. Yeah. I mean, he Well, he did you see that? Doesn't. There, he said He said the other day that he would be honored to meet with Kim Jong. Yeah. Uh, uh, not only honored, but... It would be it would be his pleasure. He said something along <laughs> those lines, uh, which is yeah, hilarious. If he me- I mean, he, of course he would. And if he met with him, he would be like, you know, I see where he's coming from, and it's hard. And yeah. I'm glad he poisoned his brother. Actually, that was great. Mm-hmm. It would be. It would be. I would rather they become best friends. Yeah, that's that how would I feel. be equally as funny. But I guess the bomb. Damn. I, I think I the idea of like Donald Trump nuking, <laughs> nuking a country is so funny because that's the most Donald Trump thing you could do. Yeah, I, mean, I know. He's that's why do I feel it. like he has to do it. He yeah. will because he's going like to get that's, bored. That's the everything. Yeah. That's people were like, he's going to he's going to start a nuclear war, and then he just does, and then we're like, I. Well, I okay. guess that's it. Yeah. I mean, that's the, as right. much as we can complain about. Yeah. Or, <laughs> we tried. Yeah. We said he was going to. He said he was going to. And then eventually, it's kind of nice. I mean, there is something nice about him 
being president where you're sort of like, well, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I'm not in control. We all voted for Hillary. Like, America voted for Hillary. You know, she did win the yeah. popular vote. We tried. We did our... I mean, she didn't do her best. I didn't fucking vote for Hillary. We did yeah. our best. Well, I, you, that's okay. I voted, I voted for her three yeah. times. I still yeah. think she Hell should be yeah. in jail. I know. I mean... <laughs> put her in jail for them whack ass pantsuits <laughs> yeah i Why like not? her pantsuits i yeah. think they're fun I, I got real today really into like uh twitter accounts that are like you know saying uh well obviously this ele- i mean they're still on the mad out thing about this being like the russians fucking oh, put him yeah. in office or whatever mm-hmm. yeah. and they're like avoided election an illegal election does not mean that it passes to Ryan. It means that it goes to the runner-up in the in the, oh, in the election itself, oh, no. Hillary Clinton. Uh, you know? And it's like, what fucking <laughs> why believe universe are you living in? That student election you think, shit. So crazy. Where you think people would just be cool with their like? Guess what? <laughs> We're making Hillary president. <laughs> Because we found a fucking check from Putin to somebody. Yes. It says, here's the election for you. There could be the biggest like smoking gun in the world. And it would not result in Hillary Clinton then becoming president. Yeah. Once right. you lost, you lost. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. I hope she runs again, dude. <laughs> that would be tight. I'd be down. I'd oh, work man. on that campaign. Yeah. If she came back and I tell her, be whiter. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Don't, why? Why Jay Z? Mm. Yeah. No. We didn't give black people. Was, we was voting for her regardless. Well, I, I think yeah. it's. I think it's. It's Chelsea's turn to start losing elections. Ooh. I. I support that because oh, she, she's, she's, she's like a good an loser untapped too. person. Yeah. I would love you know? to see her lose mm-hmm. some stuff. Yeah. She's. She's Absolutely. like I wanna, I wanna, somehow just as out of touch as Hillary. I want a oh. GoPro on her as she fucking like loses <laughs> McDonald's monopoly. You know, <laughs> every kind of every way she could possibly lose. Oh man, what's happening? People mm-hmm. just mentioning that her dad got head one yeah. time <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, your dad, your dad sucked a uh, dick in the Oval <laughs> Office. She's like that's not what happened. <laughs> like, Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit uh, <laughs> I'm trying to play I, scratch off One thing that has annoyed me That uh, Like is how It's like Misogynist to shit on Chelsea Clinton When it's like No she just sucks And mm-hmm. like don't make this I want to be able to shit on her yeah. Don't tell me I can't shit on her That's fucked up mm-hmm. That's actually sexist Here's a goal for the listeners Let's get uh, her Her Wikipedia changed Permanently So that her middle name Reads as pubes Ooh. Chelsea pubes. pubes <laughs> it flows. I love yeah. it. It's I mean, right that, if she tongue. went with that, hey, maybe she could win some elections. Hey. Yeah. I mean, the re- oh, the only Alderman. reason I, I ever really wanted any kind of audience is just to demand that they do certain <laughs> Wikipedia <laughs> vandalisms for me. Your Wikipedia Are you bidding? banned from Wikipedia? Um, I don't know if you can, can you get banned. Ban no, I don't think so. They can IP ban you, but I mean, your IP changes. All right. I don't know how computers work. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go incognito, bro. Okay. Cool. Great. Easy. All right. Wonderful. Yeah. I was just seeing if it was like because you couldn't do it or because you wanted other people to do it. Yeah. No, I used Both to get acceptable. I used to get banned from Wikipedia repeatedly. Yeah, okay. So that's yeah. what and probably just was like, I'm right back. Of. It's so funny that they let anyone change it. You know it's weird, it fucked up my ability to like go to a museum after being on Wikipedia <laughs> long enough. Mm-hmm. Because you go to a museum, and I now even like reading placards in museum, I have like the impulse to be to like, just like nah, yeah, right, is, <laughs> exactly. General to... Custer was a gay man who <laughs> <laughs> slipped those in. Mm-hmm. The best kind of vandalism is where you make some minor fucking Robert Van Gay, yeah, some small change, mm-hmm. and you know all you're doing is like hurting some fifth graders' ability. <laughs> Book to, report, yeah. <laughs> But if you're, if it's such a small change, I mean, the teacher wouldn't even notice, probably. Yeah. Do you remember, like, when you had to start doing research on the internet, be- like, before Wikipedia, mm-hmm. and, like, the types of websites that you had to go to that was just, like, you know, hot pink with, like, bright purple writing, oh, and you were like, this sounds like it was written by a teacher, maybe, but yeah. it's like... Well, I remember them being like, you're not allowed to use the internet. Oh, okay. You're not allowed to use it because everything on the internet is a lie. Oh, oh shit! That's, yeah. Damn. No, nah, they didn't give a fuck for a while. Yeah, but then well, they started checking fools for see, plagiarism. They taught us how to. I can't imagine what to... what school is now. Is like 
Yeah, so Ugh. basically, uh, just paraphrase Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. And this is welcome to history class. It's all online, so you oh. don't really need to know any of this shit because you can <laughs> access it immediately. Yeah. Uh, you all get A's. I'm going to be killing myself. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty much what school is now. Yeah, I we did should talk kill to all the teachers. A, a guy I work with was talking to me about his daughter, and apparently they his daughter is in sixth grade, and everyone in her school gets iPads. But they still have textbooks. But Even the also, retarded kids? I didn't ask. Great question. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll follow up tomorrow. I but feel like they retarded should Retarded as a second language? They got, yeah. they got them too? <laughs> <laughs> RSL? <laughs> You're the RSL kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Retarded is a second language. Uh, it's, always, but, it's always a real honor to make Mullen laugh, yo. Yeah, I feel no, like, that one got me good. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you basically just have to make a retarded joke. <laughs> I don't think... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just... I mean, I, I, I just gotta have it. a little spice it's on it. I fucking irresponsible to give them an iPad. <laughs> Well, I didn't say that they did, first yeah. of all. <laughs> they put, you just it's clipboard. in an otter box. It's they a otter box them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can have an iPad. I mean, yeah. give them I, a, iPad minis. Also, I don't know that they do. Give them an Etch-a-Sketch or something. Even just for, I mean, I think it's irresp- irresponsible <laughs> to give regular sixth graders Just the thing iPads. to change facial hair, the magnet shit, where it's just like, uh, it's a dude's face. Oh, with the pen. And then the pen, and then you just draw a beard on them. Mm-hmm. Just give them those. Yeah, yeah, it's an etch sketch. They wouldn't have an etch No, no, that's no. a step below. Oh, you're talking about yeah. You're talking yeah, this is yeah. literally just. This is where you yeah, make a yeah. beard on a guy's face. Yeah, that's it. All you can do is give a guy a high top fade. Yeah, or nothing else. What were those called? Uh, some shitty because they were like Pen that was like beards. a dollar store thing. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, we should steal those kids' iPads. Yeah. Well, what do they need the iPad for? Reading I don't and shit? know. Well, apparently all she does is watch YouTube videos. So well, I sound really, like she got to figure it out. The computer lab was so fucking. That was my favorite shit. Yo, the computer mm-hmm. lab used to be turned up, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Oregon school. Trail. Oregon Woo! Trail. Did you guys have that game that was like where the the like spaceship game where you had to like build math blaster? No, it wasn't math blaster. Okay. It was like you just. It was the shittiest game in the world. Nah, you you have to like you assemble a spaceship but it's in three sections the like engine the, like, the oh. rocket and then the middle section you pick the payload and then the tip and the tip is meaningless that has no impact on oh, anything that happens right there uh, which is does not carry over in yeah. real life yeah the tip is very important <laughs> is I'd say <laughs> uh, hmm. yeah the payload and then the engine and then you just yeah, like call hit. it the payload what's that I don't know that seems like a weird charge term too i've been watching uh how about the I've gay watching- load starring kevin spacey <laughs> oh Uh-oh. yes sir um yeah no that one and then uh where in the world is carmen san diego yes they had mm-hmm. gum shoes yeah oh that, that the- show ruled dude. yeah that show was sick yeah she was With, great. uh liz uh thig pen is the yes uh, as the chief the chief yes almost Detectives. got me into doobop doo-wop or whatever you remember oh, they used really? to do the little jazz shit at the beginning no. yeah it was like a glee club what the fuck is carmen san diego supposed to be just some woman that she's dresses a weird detective, and- yeah yeah right no she's what? the criminal she's wearing yeah. a oh she's a criminal in a red trench coat i thought she had a regular oh i think i just associated trench coat with detective yeah. but i guess everybody and she's doing coat. real fucked up shit because she's got to like Go across like international waters and shit. That's you know crazy because yeah. I thought she was the hero, and I she's running like wasn't she always human like stealing shit like the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, she was like stealing shit, and then she would go That's somewhere awesome. else with it. Yeah, either that or human trafficking. Ooh. One of the two. <laughs> yeah, that would be great if she was like really Something terrible. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just like Carmen San Diego. She just was, deals with yeah, ch- child selling, slaves. Yeah, straight yeah. up African slaves. Mm-hmm. Still, yeah, just like, like that one SVU. But she's got a real fun theme song. Yeah. Yeah. From here to Carolina. <laughs> I think that's, that's not very far. <laughs> <laughs> is that was that how it starts? From yeah, here to some, Carolina? Something like that, yeah. Not even a specific Carolina. Yeah, just one of them. That is some lazy fucking song, right? <laughs> It would be great if it was just uh, from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia. (laughs) 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 Carmen San Diego, Carmen San Diego, Carmen San Diego, Carmen San Diego. (laughs) 
<laughs> I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, we can't accept this. Man. You're fired. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I remember uh, in high school, like, kids, we weren't allowed to go to the computer lab because uh, fools were, like, bullying people on Black Planet. Like, there was a list. It's there was, Black like, a Planet. Potomac, like, like whores list. Oh, and no. it was on Black Planet, and like people were like always adding names to Wait, the list. Wait, what's Black Planet? Black Planet was an early social networking black MySpace. site. Yeah, yeah, it was Black MySpace, oh. Black um, Asian Avenue. Uh, well, blacker MySpace. Yeah, for mm. sure. Because MySpace is pretty black. Ma- MySpace yeah. got black. Do you remember yeah. that happened? <laughs> yeah, man. Once they started doing top eight, that mm. was like the moment it was black for some reason. Yeah. I don't know if the top eight had anything to do with that. Yeah, but yeah I don't know. it was just a thing. Yeah, yeah. And then fucking and fools used to all. It was like. Yeah, which uh, which baby mama are you? Remember those those mm-hmm. quizzes? You know what I mean. On mine, I had a my my quiz was which girlfriend's character are you? <laughs> <laughs> From the TV show Girlfriends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, damn! My mom used to watch that shit, bro. Yeah. UPN Except had, produced by UPN, Kelsey Grammer. UPN, yeah. UPN really fell off. Yeah. They Once it couple, wasn't black anymore, or maybe Girlfriends, girlfriends was like their was last stand. Yeah, well, they had a couple of like. I mean, it was always sort of black, but then the shows just got shittier. Yeah, because they had sense. better shows back in the day. Yeah, I mean, when did, I don't. But remember, then they also like, had Homeboys in Outer Space. Did it yeah. turn into something that, else, or did it just that was go the, away? That was like the very beginning of UPN. Yeah, early yeah. vibe talk show. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, Sinbad. Sinbad. <laughs> yeah, I used to watch Vibe. Yeah, dude, me too, man. Yeah, on an old ass TV, one of those TVs with the knobs, yo. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember. I remember him doing a bit one time about like, about how like sad, like sad, sad people. They just got their dog, and it's like you know, me and my. I was like, just, just me and my dog, and I was like hanging out with my dog at the time. And I was like, <laughs> get like, out of here. <laughs> you made your dog go away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. dude, I don't was being owned by Sinbad. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those Sinbad crews. Remember, he used to do the HBO. It was like a special, but it was like a, uh, it was like a cruise. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, it was. Like I watched. I watched a lot of his comedy specials. Yeah, it was like it was like the Sinbad like Caribbean comedy jam or yeah. some shit. And it was his, like his pants get higher and his earrings get longer with every fucking comedy special. Because <laughs> he has more trend. money. Yeah, right. He's just so he walking out, he's just fucking pants. waving, and his fucking giant <laughs> earrings bashing underneath his fucking chin. That's at least it's like he had to pick a look. You know, I feel yes. like people these days, it's just sort of like, oh, now I'm gonna wear a suit. He also does not get the respect he deserves as a stand-up comic. He's like, oh, he's great. He was great. Yeah. Um, although he has like one special where the whole thing is about like the '70s. Oh and yeah, how, like, shit was different in the '70s. He's yeah. like, Ooh, I tell you, in the '70s, remember you used to be able to just get hit by a car. He's <laughs> like, I don't think that was ever the case. <laughs> the He's physics like a lot of, of people's bodies ben- were <laughs> different. Wait, like you used to be able to be like With to survive? By, yeah. Play by outside. Yeah, yeah. Play you outside. Get hit by a car and you get up. You get up. Be worse in the seventies. Steve funny. Harvey had, like yeah. did a similar. Yeah, he, he had like that same kind of like fucking. He has one special where he's talking about, fellas, remember when you was younger, you just took a piss, and now you're older and you urinate. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I feel like <laughs> that's... This is like, like some weird language distinction, and it's like how comedy works. Yeah, it's just like, if you talk about memory, it's so malleable, you can just do whatever you want with it. You can yeah. just be like, hey, remember back in the day when you used to love your parents, and now it's sort of like, I don't know. Yeah, and everyone's like, yeah. Now you only affectionate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. No, that's it. that's that's exactly how it works. First of all, no one urinates. No one says, "Excuse me, yeah, I have to go let me urinate." Go urinate real quick. <laughs> well, fellas, remember you you just took a piss. He stumbles on that joke too. I love that Steve Harvey bit. You ever see that one where he's talking about uh, about like Iraq or whatever? I don't and know. He, if it, it wasn't no. Kings of Comedy. No, it was much later. Mm. It's like another. It's like a newer special. He's talking about Iraq, and he's like, uh, "Send me over there, shit." You know, <laughs> like, you don't want to do that. I get there, 
immediately, you know, he's, I, I'm trying to remember how the bit goes, but it's something like, hello, hello, you know, he's like doing like a Arab voice and he's like, cack, 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 you know, he's like, I don't care. Men, women, children, I kill <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> and then no. Went, and he's like, he's like, <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, sneak up on me. I'm too scared. You can't fucking, he's like, none of them. <laughs> and it's like, immediately I hear, eh, and he's like, cack, cack, cack. Oh, Lord, Steve Dunn shot the baby. <laughs> And he's like talking about murdering babies in Afghanistan. Oh shit! Uh, Damn. Yeah. No, that's, he had he had some that's great fire fucking that's takes amazing. on that's his specials. So, that's so funny. That's straight up hot fries his right fucking, there. That's Andy his Caps. Michael Vick bit. His Michael <laughs> Vick bit. Andy Let a man kill some dogs. <laughs> 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 Just let him. Yeah. I feel like it's oh, okay when he my says God. it. You know? Yeah. He's I remember like, my well, mom used to try that. to get me to dress like Steve Harvey. <laughs> like when <laughs> I first when to I get first beat up. <laughs> <laughs> when I first told him I was doing stand up. I was just, you know, I was like going out and whatever, some fucking basketball shorts, just, mm-hmm. you know, whatever you fuck. You discover the backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is backpack era and um Yeah, one day she was like, "You you going out in that?" And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, and then I don't know how it came up, but she was like, you know what? You should dress more like him. Like we was looking at Steve Harvey and she was like, yeah, yeah. Why don't looking you? at the picture of Steve Harvey on the <laughs> kitchen table. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, why don't you? And I was like, fuck, man. No. And then, but recently I talked to my mom. She's not a Steve Harvey fan anymore, so oh, I'm glad we, you know, we, we came full so circle. She found out he has a t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She saw a picture of him wearing sandals. <laughs> it was like, oh, oh, mm, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess, you know, just old, bald Steve Harvey's a sucker, basically. That's oh, just the, yeah. that's the Johnson his, family stance. His fake <laughs> Lego snap-on the yeah. high top. <laughs> Dog, that, that, literally nothing made me sadder than finding out that that high top was fake yeah. for any amount of time. That's like, dude, that's like the standard of black haircuts. Yeah. We like, dog, that his, yo, Steve Harvey's lineup is, mm. it's got to be lasered on. We used, used to, to think I it was plastic watch, surgery. I used to watch his sitcom all the time. <laughs> dog, that shit was funny. Yeah. Dude. Well, it was funny because Cedric was on it. Yo, Cedric is the best. Once again, me and my mom said the same shit the other day. You should have been in the car with us. <laughs> yeah. She was like, yeah, I watched it for Cedric. Yeah. Was like, Cedric, me too, mom. Cedric was great on it. Oh, he was so good. I remember. I, I love the white character on the show, uh, Bullet Head. Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just had a bullet in his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like a mentally retarded white guy who had a bullet in his brain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bit was that he was in high school for six years. Yeah, yeah. That was the whole bit. Yeah. What a damn, Mister Hot Tower, <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking moron. <laughs> Which is very funny. It means like to cast like a, a black. That's the thing that's missing in all these like conversations about representation on TV or whatever. It's like we got to have more minority representation. It's like, okay, but would you settle for just having like a humiliating white character <laughs> yeah. on the show? Because it's funnier that way. It is yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I got to hand it to him. Right, Bullet, Bullethead was uh, that was uh, Emmy. That was Emmy yeah. worthy shit. Yeah, right there. <laughs> It's very funny to me. My favorite character was Cedric's wife, uh, Lavita Alizé Jenkins. Yeah. She was the best. Just because that was like, that was their vehicle for like, uh, just like hood names. Yeah. Like she always had her a relative. She had a cousin named Nokia. You know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> like that was always a bit. It yeah. pretty good. Um, she had a half black, half Hawaiian cousin named Kinko. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a gay hairdresser. <laughs> uh, that's funny that they would mock those names yeah. on their own show um i guess steve harvey has a normal name i could see him that's his yeah. like pull up your pants is don't steve be named, harvey pretty don't be named nokia yeah. <laughs> i don't even think it's like don't i don't know i mean i haven't seen this but maybe it's just like that's funny yeah but when you was talking about the fucking that afghanistan shit it made me think of uh i feel like this is the only time i ever talked to a, a veteran I don't even know if this fool was in the military for real, but I got like, I guess I got a, a proposition. I got hit on by a guy out in Adams Morgan one time. I was wearing a, a like a National Guard backpack, and sometimes like drunk military dudes would like check me when they saw me. So I was, and this See, was one of those times. Like, they'd be like, oh, are you in the? You know, they'd be like, oh, did you did you earn that? Mm. And the dude sees me with the backpack, and he's like. In my shoes, like, yeah, I was in the army. What's up? And it was like he was about to fight me. 
he's like in my face yelling at me like what's, what's good and I was like hey man chill you know eventually I calm him down and he was like he apologized he's like hey my bad man hey but like where the bitch is at <laughs> and then he got real close and he was like where the niggas at too and he like whispered it at me and I was like <laughs> Like I need to go. <laughs> That's weird. He's yeah, a lot of your <laughs> the poor gay veterans really don't know. Yeah, man, it's, I feel bad that that was the only way. That was his only option. Yeah. Right, try to fight me first. He couldn't even be nice. Fighting find people and stealing gay trying valor. To find <laughs> Where did, did you earn that? That midriff, <laughs> that camouflage midriff. You better earn it, honey. <laughs> I cut off. Uh, well, we're <laughs> almost out of time on this SD card, Ooh. so oh. that's going to be. Thank you for joining. Oh yeah, us. Come Town West. Yeah, yeah. yeah Come Town West. Westy mm-hmm. West. We back yeah. at it. I guess we're going to do what, like two more. I yeah, think, that's before whatever I go you back still around. to uh, New yeah. York. Sounds but, pretty good. Uh, yeah. All right. Good night, folks. Bye. Oh.